Oh, hello everybody. Um, thank you for uh, watching this um, um, transmission of footage um, and uh, uh, thank you for joining uh, this uh, uh, um, uh, presentation uh, for some of the work we're doing at the uh, Bergman Brain Center. I'm uh, Patrick Kwan. I'm a professor in neurology. Uh, I'm also uh, at the University of Melbourne uh, based at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. I'm also the head of the uh, Comprehensive Epilepsy Program. Uh, at the Royal Melbourne Hospital uh, and the Royal Melbourne Hospital is one of the uh, major uh, hospitals in Victoria uh, in Australia is also one of the uh, largest uh, epilepsy centers um, uh, in Australia uh, and uh, has an international reputation of excellence in, uh, in service we deliver and the research as well so it will be no surprising that I'll be uh, introducing uh, uh, some of the work that we're doing uh, in research uh, in epilepsy and also related areas. Uh, we have a very large uh, research group uh, comprising I think now uh, over 50 uh, researchers at all levels from uh, right from uh, uh, honor students or, or even undergraduates, uh, honor students to postgraduate students, masters, um, uh, doctoral students uh, all the way up to postdocs uh, and uh, various levels of uh, professorships. So uh, our research uh, focuses, uh, because we are uh, attached to a clinical environment, we are uh, strong, we, our research strongly emphasizes uh, tra translation. Uh, so the work uh, has to be uh, clinically relevant uh, and uh, the uh, setting we work in provides the ideal um, environment for us to do so. Uh, there's a very broad um, uh, research uh, um, uh, spread uh, right from uh, basic science to uh, uh, clinical uh, research um, and uh, focusing around understanding what are the um, uh, basic etiologies of epilepsy uh, investigations, uh, what are the uh, diagnoses, all the way to uh, developing novel therapies and assessing the uh, effectiveness and cost effectiveness of these uh, novel therapies. Um, and in the later this week, you'll hear um, a number of our researchers uh, talking more specifically about their own research. So, uh, Professor O'Brien, uh, who is also one of the most prominent uh, epilepsy researcher uh, and clinician in Australia and internationally, uh, leads a large uh, team of his own uh, around uh, understanding the uh, uh, basics of epilepsy, looking at uh, using research, uh, epilepsy models, uh, and uh, he will talk more about his work. Um, Dr. Uh, Sandy Schultz is uh, uh, one of our uh, postdoctoral fellows, uh, originally from Canada. He has a very strong interest in uh, uh, trauma, uh, 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 brain trauma specifically, and also uh, specifically looking at uh, how to prevent brain trauma using novel therapies and the relationship between traumas uh, and epilepsy. Uh, Dr. Uh, Jian Shong Chan uh, is one, also one of the postdoctoral fellows. Uh, he will talk about uh, some of the work that he's been uh, leading uh, in uh, developing point-of-care molecular diagnosis uh, and uh, novel uh, animal models uh, to understand the relationship between Alzheimer's disease and um, epilepsy. Uh, and uh, Mr. Ben Chen uh, is one of our um, advanced uh, PhD uh, candidate. Uh, he has a very different background as a bio biostatistician uh, and he brings in these skills in uh, analyzing large data sets uh, and he'll uh, talk about the, uh, some of the work he's been doing uh, in health economic analysis relating to uh, genetic testing uh, for epilepsy uh, treatment. And last but not least, uh, Dr. Piero Peruca uh, is a uh, uh, clinical research fellow undertaking a uh, PhD with us. Uh, he is a neurologist uh, and his uh, main interest is in uh, investigating the uh, novel uh, uh, genetic uh, uh, mutations in patient epilepsy uh, and how to apply them in clinical practice. So I'm sure you uh, find the 
uh, talks and the uh, interactions with these uh, researchers are uh, most uh, fruitful and rewarding.